So welcome back. Uh, last stream, we did a lot. I tried to go find the pilot in the prawn suit, could not find her, but I got a lot of rubies, a lot of blueprints, so that's nice. Still haven't upgraded the sea truck speed, still want to do that. I also found the shipwreck, which I hope there's a lot of explorable area. We're going to go there and find out. I'm ready. Let's do it. So here we are. I am super proud of this base so far. It's not really much to look at, but uh, I'm pretty happy about the glass bridge. I just I just love that there's so much glass in this base. All, all of my bases in Subnautica 1 were like extremely utilitarian with maybe one or two windows, but this is like, this is just damn extravagant, which I'm here for. That's cool. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm willing to put the time into to uh, grind the quartz, so. Okay, so I've got some stuff. Let me put things away. Apparently I got a lot of diamond. I don't remember that. I'm cool. That's cool. And then lead. And lithium. Dang. Oh, and I got a bunch of batteries from uh, wherever I was at. I don't remember. I should, should go watch that. Okay, Thumper is for distracting big enemies, so that's nice. Maybe that's for surface stuff. I don't know. Uh, mineral detector I still don't really use. I keep pressing the wrong button. If you're wondering why I keep on pressing the exit menu, um, it's because in the fabricator, the only way you can get out is by hitting escape. But in a locker, the only way you can get out is by hitting tab or, or close the PDA. So there's two different buttons to escape out of a menu and it's just throwing me off so uh what was that recipe though i just i got a new recipe a rebreather awesome i didn't even know i got that let's let's make that really quick that should allow me to go deeper facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths there we go breathe the freedom breathe the freedom <laughs> That was a little weird, but I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Uh, okay, so I have some stuff to put away. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, that means... So having the rebreather now allows me to go deeper, which uh, the young cotton anemone uh, that I was exploring earlier when I got intoxicated by that um, lily patter. Uh, let's actually go look at that lily patter. That was an interesting... Uh, indigenous life forms, fauna, uh, carnivores. I don't know what it is. Shouldn't it be in here? Because, I mean, it was... Here it is. It says it's an herbivore, but it was definitely, um, like, hypnotizing me. I don't know why it would have any ev evolutionary reason to hypnotize me if it wasn't going to eat me. Uh, but whatever. Lily Paddler, Paddler, not Padder, a medium-sized herbivore with an elong elongated, bifurcated to torso and multiple bioluminescent adornments, slow and vulnerable to attack, long arms for seed foraging on the ocean floor, an array of feather-like appendages displayed various colors in low-light conditions. When threatened, the Paddler emits a pheromonal defense that disrupts higher-order brain function in certain species. Okay, so it's a threaten, like it's a defense mechanism. That makes sense. At night, the Paddler's Illuminated plumage looks like a school of smaller fish, perhaps convincing predators they're not worth the chase. Assessment. Dangerous and unfam unfamiliar environments approach with caution. Well, I definitely will now because it turned me around and I couldn't tell where I was going and uh, I barely made it back to my sea truck for oxygen. So uh, glad I survived that. But now I have the rebreather. I can go down there. I can explore it. I can stay away from them, but I can also go scan more things hopefully get more blueprints as well. So let's do that. Is there anything I can make here that I haven't already? Still need the synthetic fibers and the spiral plant clipping uh, for the Mark II um, depth module, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, now it's time to go to the ship. So where are we? We've got pilot's last known location and the ship was over there so let's let's go i might actually make another base over here and with a fabricator and some storage so that i can stash stuff there is a lot of stuff to explore around the ship so it might be nice to to be able to um have some subsistence 
um, reserves and have a place to stash extra inventory. Um, like if I collect a bunch of lithium or diamonds, it would be really nice to have a place to put it. And then as I need it, I can just go get it instead of having to collect it. Uh, I've already lost my way. Where's, there it is. Pilot's last known location. And now that I have the rebreather, I can go down there uh, and hopefully explore, actually find the pilot's uh, location. All good. Those guys aren't very scary um, because if they start charging you, they uh, they go in a straight line. So as long as you just strafe out of their way, uh, you're pretty safe. Just looking for stuff. All right, squid shark. Now I know, whoa. What is this? This isn't like the other jellies. They don't, it doesn't have like an electrical, um, electrical tentacles in the bottom. And it's got this like, oh, it, eye fish, eye jellyfish. <gasps> oh, glow, okay, glow shark, that's fine. Damn, they're okay. This is a little more dangerous than I uh, than I am <laughs> appropriately paying attention to. So let's let's just park right here, and I'll go scan that uh, this new jellyfish. Hopefully, it doesn't have like super um, active tentacles or something. Oh! No! Oh! <sighs> no, 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 no. I accidentally put away my sea glide instead of used it. Uh which means I'm just going to chill out and be safe for a little while. <sighs> okay, that went way worse than I meant it to. I was just talking a big talk, too, about how they're not that scary. All right. Uh... Spinefish. Oh, those are from Subnautica 1, I thought. I think. Battery. I really need some food, actually. What is that? Laser cutter. Don't need it. Oh, and I need a laser cutter. I should have made one before I came in. Should I go back? I think I might have to go back. Hey, there's food. Uh, let's see one of those. Wait. I can make metal salvage? Or I can make titanium from metal salvage? Oh, I should make a sea truck storage module. Oh well. Well, let's see what I can do without the laser cutter. Need quartz? for a hatch. No! What the frick? He's so fast. I think my flippers are making me slower. Yeah. 
Yeah, the charge flippers, I think, definitely make me slower. Alright, what do I need for a fabricator? <sighs> fabricator? I need two more quartz and copper ore times two. So let's get that come back and then I'll make a fabricator for... Um, I've forgotten. I'll remember here. Just Wait, why can I put it over the hatch but not next to it? That's a bug for sure. Okay, and then locker. Let's line this up all pretty like. All right, let's put away some of it and then... Can I make a beacon? Yes. Uh... Let's make another one, because I'm going to place one here at the base. Alright, and what was this called? This... This ship? Mercury 2. So let's... Let's go ahead, drop a beacon off, and call it the Mercury 2. Oh, laser cutter. That's what I wanted the fabricator for. Mercury 2 wreckage. Something, something was trying to eat me. Gold. So I need gold. I, I'm thinking about moving my um, solar power pa panel above the ship and then using a power uh, transfer thing. Whatever it's called. Power transmitter. All right, let's get out of here. So I need diamonds if I can find them. Uh, and then I'd like to go down. Um... Yeah, actually, okay. Yeah, that's what I need to find is diamonds right now. And then after I find diamonds, then I can make the laser cutter and I can go deeper into the ship. What is that? What was that? Thought I saw some wreckage over here. Okay. Oh, there's more ship wreckage. I didn't know there was two. Good. Good to know. Well, let's see how far I can get without a laser cutter here. Seek fluid intake. All right. was there to scan? Oh, red feather fish? I'm alive. Stefano saved me. 
the Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff, and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing, and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight, and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clicked into my sea tinker. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured a rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. That was harrowing. <laughs> that would suck. Just imagine living in a place, like in a in a metal box for months if not years with the crew it's like a village in space and then suddenly half of your village just gets sucked out sucked out the side of the ship man oof alright I need to know how to make a propulsion cannon oh I've got enough I just need titanium Uh oh, am I getting colder? All right, so I've got stuff. Let's uh, let's continue. I'll come back to the shipwreck. Oh, I've got another. I've got another beacon. Let's use it. Yeah, right here. Would have been nice to have a beacon for the um, young cotton sea and enemy area. Call this Mercury to wreckage. Second Mercury wreckage. Sorry, bro, I'm not on the menu. Oh, and I do need gold. Oh, jeez! No, I didn't want to get out. Take gold. Hey, thank you. Um, why don't you have some titanium? I guess he doesn't want it. Well, thank you. Oh! Okay. Didn't mean to hit him. Sorry, little guy. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright. Got the rebreather. I can actually go here now.
Oh, this must actually be the place where the <gasps> moon pool uh, where the pilot is. Hopefully. Yes, blueprint. Hello. Guess I'll go up the moon pool. Oh! Do I actually get a prawn suit? This area is very lived in. Nothing to scan there. Stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okay, tracking tracking tower is tracking her and Altera is she has a beef with Altera and she trusts me even though she doesn't oh yeah I needed this for the, the uh, tower snow fox oh one more piece one more piece new technology acquired perimeter defense hey we're just going to take everything <laughs> from this lady. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's ribcage. Okay, I was wondering about that reaper skull. Did she kill that? Uh, and apparently she did not. No scanny? Oh! Tree spire. It's like there's not much in this cave.
Well, I got the large room with a uh, glass top, which I am super stoked about. And a moon pool, which is very nice. I can anchor my sea truck. It's Christmas. Still suit. St still suit. Like from Dune? Reclaims moisture and provides clean, drinkable water. That's definitely the still suit from, from Dune. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, where is the sea truck? There it is. What is that light? Is that just a light stick? Yes, it's just a light stick. How much does it take to make aerogel? One gel sack. Okay. I think it's worth dropping another titanium for this so I can make a still suit. And then I won't lose moisture as fast. Alright, well, I totally did not expect to find the the pilot, the prawn suit pilot. <laughs> I wasn't even planning to do that today because I couldn't find her before. Uh, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, let's see. Test override module. So that's story stuff. Let's leave that alone for now. Uh, but let's offload a bunch of stuff. Uh, Alright. Back to actually looking for diamonds. Once I have the diamonds, then I can finish looting the ship wreckage. Although, should I stop and, and go to the the pilot's base area? Because I can definitely go farther underneath there. I just didn't have the inventory space to pick anything up. Hmm. Well, I'll look for some diamonds for now. All right, keep on zipping around. Probably not very smooth. Magnetite, yes! Where's my sea? Okay, that's my sea truck. You know, what does it take to make a thermal generator? Two magnetite. Okay. Whoa! That's a huge cotton anemone. Brand cotton anemone. Oh, what's it doing? Nickel. Hell yeah. And diamond. Excellent. Oh, alien, alien, uh, structures. I gotta keep, keep an eye on my oxygen. I'd already forgotten about it. Loop plant. Oh, <gasps> spiral clipping! Oh, not what I was hoping. How much time do I have? 100, 100 seconds? Mm. 
I better not go down for now. I'll just keep looking for diamonds and then go get more oxygen. Is this connected? Okay. Oh, I used the ruby to make the arrow gel. Whoops. Totally forgot about that. Maybe I can actually make a nuclear power plant down here, make a small shelter. Hundred sixty eight seconds, okay. In fact, what does it take to make a a, a nuclear plant? Okay, plasteel, so I need lithium, an advanced wiring kit, so I need gold, and table coral, and lead. So, probably not likely, unless I, like, bring stuff down, which maybe I'll do later. There's more diamond. Is that a creature egg? Yeah. All right, I better go back. 108 seconds. No problem. All right, I think I have lithium and back at the other base. Cause then I can make the plasteel But then I need gold and table coral, which table coral isn't over here, so... I don't know. But I've got the diamond for a laser cutter, so let's go back. Hey, laser cutter. Plasteel, that's what I needed it for. So let's get that titanium ingot. Make the plasteel. So I've got I've got the laser cutter. I can go now into the mercury. Uh, I do want let's make some glass. You know what would be nice? Oh! What? Did, was it just that? Was it the thermal vent that hurt me? Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh. It would be nice to have my base out a little bit so I could build an observatory. Uh, but I think I'm not going to worry about it for now. So let's just put some stuff away. Uh, let's put this up into, like, stuff I'm going to take home and stuff I'm going to leave. Okay, well, I'll put the food away here for now. And I've got water for the trip, so... Okay, let's, uh, let's go... Let's go into the Mercury. I'm going to take out my laser cutter. Do I have my propulsion cannon? I do. Let's just take that out too. Here we go. Sorry about your cats. Ah, it's alright. I appreciate it. Um, it's not too terrible. One of them is sick and the other one um, basically doesn't know who the other cat is anymore for some reason <laughs> they i can go into this a little bit it's called feline non-recognition um where the cats they see through smell like their scent more than anything 
And uh, so when the cat, when when Gunther. He's in, he's in the room somewhere. When Gunther goes to the vet, he'll come back home and uh, his brother won't be able to tell who he is. And so he treats him like an intruder and just freaks the frick out. Uh, and it's like really unsettling. And so basically we have to keep them separated uh, for like a long time, like a week after we go to the vet. So it, it's just really stressful and we gotta like pay attention a lot and, and kind of try to introduce them but not let them fight each other um, and then I mean Gunther's sick right now we're trying to figure that out it's it's nothing life threatening so uh, appreciate your concern though thanks okay so I'm in the reactor I think or in the power room okay okay another here's another uh, laser cutter door. Oh, I've already been here. I'm going to go replenish or, uh, oxygen then. There we go. Hey, food. Awesome. Sealed door? If you don't mind if I ask this, but what is your job? My job is software developer. Kind of. Um... I sort of design... Oh, what is this? Hold on. Parallel processing unit fragment. Okay. I think I need that for the uh, the test module for the radio tower. Uh, I'll take it. Um, yeah, so my job is a software developer, uh, but I kind of work on how to make software, like how to make software in a big... Um, a big organization, um, which is called Dev Operations, like Development Operations, and uh, it's kind of like how to make sure that you're doing things in a way that is um, the best way possible, and then also like making sure that you and the organization change, like you're you're okay with changing how you do things when you find something that's like a best a new way to do things so uh yeah it's it's you'd be surprised but people ooh, people really don't like to change what they're doing they just kind of want to show up and and do the same thing um sometimes i mean not there are different types of people um but devops is sort of helping people understand that you know software is changing a lot and there are new ways to do things all the time so uh, we should always do things the, the best way because what really matters at the end of the day is that your website works or you know your game works or whatever type of software you're making it's like the end result is the most important thing so you should do whatever thing you whatever you can to make it good you know so it's like changing people's life um i hope so it, it it's hopefully making making things better right i mean if if we're trying to do things the best way possible to make the best system or the best product um then yeah it could be changing people's life for sure but i'm a, I'm a software developer by trade so that that's that's what i do i automate things i write code i test code and it's, it's pretty cool. I, li I like that kind of job because I'm a tinkerer. I like making things better. I like automating things. Um, it's fun. Uh, 
Okay, so I found one parallel processing parallel processing unit. And now I just need to find more. So is there another entrance or something? To this wreckage? Is that a hole? No. A lot of times I go on Twitch to talk to people, but uh, Subnautica Below Zero is very interesting. It really is. I I'm starting to feel like Subnautica 1, like the feeling I got when I played Subnautica 1 for the first time. It's like, I just want to I just want to do the next thing. I want to collect enough materials to build this part, this base, this part of the base, and then I want to make the laser cutter. I want to make, you know, the next thing. It just feels good to, like, to make progress and, and explore, you know? It's like open world games for me. Uh, it's really cool that you can just go, you know, like in Skyrim. I don't know if you've ever played Skyrim, but you can look at a hill like a mountain way in the distance and go there and uh games you weren't able to do that like they used to not be able to do that there are a lot more games where you can do that now but it used to be like super rare um but now like open world games can be really not fun if you don't have a reason to go to the mountain like if there's nothing interesting over there or you know i don't know if you've played assassin's creed or uh, Watch Dogs or something. I haven't actually played Watch Dogs, but um, Subnautica really feels worth it to play, you know? <laughs> you go down into this really deep area and uh, and you always find stuff. You always find good stuff to help build your base. This guy pretending like he's in, but he's not. Get out of here, Sharktopus. You ain't got nothing. Oh! <laughs> I'm smack talking and I run into a wall. Alright, I've got a laser cutter. This is the second wreckage. Hey, another reactor rod for the nuclear reactor. All right, I've got my propulsion cannon. What's this? Oh, I'm not depleted reactor rod okay I don't know if I can use that for anything but I've got one now and another reactor rod I think I'm set on reactor rods sorry I've got an itch on my nose Part two of the parallel processing unit. Uh oh. Well, I've got enough. I've got enough oxygen for this um, area. Chinese potato? That's got to be molded by now. Uh. It's rotten. Okay. I don't think I need the nuclear waste. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans. And there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but looks like intentional and complex architecture which means civilization and civilization means language oh man 
And now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. Would they though, dude? I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe they would. I was going to say, do they really care about alien languages? Oh, here we go. New area. Drill arm? I need that for sure. <gasps> Prawn suit! Please, please give me the whole thing. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, not the whole thing yet. Hey, there's the drill arm, which I need. <laughs> there was one behind me the whole time. Two out of four. Okay. So that's okay. At least I know how many I need. I should probably find my ship. My sea truck, I mean. Oh. Oh, fell through the floor. Hate when that happens. Aquarium? Alien containment. Interesting. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen at sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more soul transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Hmm, interesting. So how much of the crew survived? And then... Or, or maybe they were... Oh, you know what? I bet this is what happened. I bet they were in orbit in the ship uh, before the Kara virus was taken care of by me and last Subnautica, Subnautica 1. Uh, so when they came down, they got shot down by the alien defense system. And... Yeah. Interesting. We'll just have to wait to find out. <gasps> yes! Prawn suit, number three. Three out of four. I cannot wait to get a prawn suit. One more, one more. What's down here? I gotta be careful here. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. 
They fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Hmm. Okay, so they evaded. They evaded the uh, the alien defense system. Interesting. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans. We were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team, they got ripped to shreds by something. They died screaming alone in the cold dark waters I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again I refuse some of the animals on this planet they look sick too weird pustules on the skin oddly sluggish I think we should leave but Diana said we should stay she thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it but those families will never see their loved ones again they don't care about no payoffs we can't return the bodies I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Hmm. It's a rough time. All right, so this is the bridge. Oh, there's oxygen back there. I can use that. Uh, two oxygen. Excellent. I don't think I need the parallel processing unit anymore. Orion's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid. Cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Tunnelers? Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Damn. I would hate that too. Basically has to leave those people to die. So I, I think I guessed it right. I mean, I was just a little bit off. I guess that the Mercury got shot down by the alien defense... Um, alien defense system in Subnautica 1 before the Kara virus is taken care of. Uh, and they escaped the first shot on landing, but they got shot down. I think they got shot down 
when they tried to leave. Which is what happened, like, to us, like, in Subnautica 1. Well, which is why we couldn't leave early in Subnautica 1. Ribbon plants, nice, nice. Uh, can I cut this? No. This is such a winding area. Are these tunnels from what she was talking about? It's kind of freaky. This is a really sad part of the game. Back to the bridge. Jukebox. Rocket Gaming Subnautica Stimulus. Interesting. I'll have to make a jukebox. I, I have like four or five discs now, but I haven't made the jukebox. Guess that's all the that's all I can do on the bridge. I'm going to have to stop here pretty soon. Uh, this is probably a good point to close the episode. I'm going to get uh, get to my little base. Uh, and then I'm going to call it quits. Right now I'm just trying to make a last pass through this ship to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, there were three laser cutter doors in here. So I want to make sure that I'm not missing like another door. Uh, I've got everything I need though. I'm ready for the test uh, to create the test module for the radio tower. I am all, I, I really hope I can find another prawn suit to scan because that's the last thing I need. Uh, okay, I think I've, I think I've finished my pass. I already went to the, the bridge, so we should be good. All right, where is my other, base. Mercury 2 wreckage, right over there. Yeah, Krakenville. Uh, where is it? Oh! No! It took all my power! Hey, man! Give that back! Oh... It took all my power. Wait, did it just disable me? Oh, it just disabled me. Well, I take it back. Sorry for cutting you. <laughs> all right. So that covers it. I didn't save that entire playthrough. Dang. Uh, <laughs> I need to do more, more saving. Well, holy crap. That was an extremely productive episode. I went down looking for diamonds to get the laser cutter for the mercury wreckage exploration, but I found the pilot and I got a ton of blueprints and I found almost enough prawn suit fragments to make a prawn suit. And I got a ton of story and PDA like audio logs. Uh, this was so fun. <laughs> this is like, this is Subnautica, this is peak Subnautica. I'm super stoked to play again. That was fun. Next time I have a ton of stuff I'm gonna make, like I can make. So I'd like to do that. I'd like to expand my base a little bit and I have a few more alien artifacts to go to. So yeah, plenty to look forward to. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and click the bell. It really helps out. I'm a really new channel. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great night or a great day or a great weekend or a great week, whichever is in front of you. Have a great time and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>